Okay. So, um, yeah, so we're going to be taking a different week. And if there's anything like any of you guys want to address and, or like, you know, throw out some topics like during the week and stuff in the team page, then that's something that we can bring up and, or talk about on the calls. You know, like if you're like, seriously, I'm struggling with such and such, then like throw it out there and, um, I can find some trainings and, or, you know, videos or something. And then we can kind of use the call to, um, to kind of go over that stuff. So, um, so this week, um, I just wanted to, um, and I don't want to make this too long. Um, so let me just start doing a screen share. Let's see. Jenny. Okay. Jenny's trying to get on, but her, she said she can't hear us. So, um, okay. And all right. Can you guys see my screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So just a little roadmap um, to success for 2017. And I wanted to give you guys some success tips um, and kind of just do a quick little rundown first. Um, and then, um, so we all know our, can you guys see all of this? Yeah. I just don't want to do like the whole big thing. Um, so January promos, I think everything else is off promo except core to force comes off. I think on the 17th, um, I know you can go in the back office, um, or you can actually in the FAQs is that, um, you have to type in December challenge pack promos and then it shows you the date, like the takedown date, but 21 day fix and all that came off today. I looked today and it's already gone. Um, it was gone at like 2 PM today. Um, and the only thing left is core to force and core to force digital. And I believe that's on the 17th that they take that down. So if you have anybody that's like totally gung ho on core to force, um, or even if you want to throw a post out there that this is the last month to get it at a promo price, um, you know, that's, they can still do that until the 17th. Um, so the all access, as you guys know, um, you know, it takes two people this month to get the success club with the all access. So where normally it's three people by getting two success club points, each, um, challenge pack sold, the all access is three points. And then that is going to go until the end of February, February 28th. Uh, and then this little reminder down here, repeat customers will only get you one point. So if you are a coach, you can only order one challenge pack and that's when you sign up. When you are a customer, you can order a challenge pack literally every single month if you want to, which is kind of ridiculous because then you're, you know, continuing to spend that money. But if people have done that in the past where, you know, they're like, oh, well, I want to try this program. So I'm just going to get a challenge pack or I want to try this DVD. So, well, now that there's the all access pass, it's like, well, you don't really need to keep ordering uh, challenge packs. But if you have somebody who ordered a challenge pack maybe last summer and they're not on Shakeology, then definitely strongly suggest to them, hey, why don't you do a challenge pack with this all access and then you can get back on your Shakeology and you get all of the programs, you know, whatever. And then that gets you three successful points. So they're coming in that week and then you're getting the two points and then the following Tuesday they're adding that third point. So even if um, they sign up, you know, on January 31st, um, you get those two points and then that third point will still count towards January. It won't go towards February. They'll just, it'll, you'll get it and you'll see it pop up for your um, January stuff. So whatever month they signed up in, that's where the challenge, pack, the extra success club point goes. Have you heard it? They're going to add the all access non-challenge pack to the mobile enrollment. Um, I don't know if they... I know in the coach, the coach mobile office thing, there is under memberships. You can just do the membership for the all access. But I don't so, know if it's on the mobile app. Okay. So there's a link under the coach for membership that you can send, like a link that you can send. Because I've just been doing that copy and paste link yeah. that comes up with the, like the nine $9 for six months, $8 and something for the year. And then there's like something else. Is that the link I'm supposed to be sending to people? I am. So I'm signing into the coach office, like the coach mobile office, that app. And then I'm doing it right now, just so I can tell you exactly what, and then you go to, um, Jenny, can you hear us now? I can. Yeah. Ooh, hi. <laughs> hi Jenny. How are you? 
Hi. <laughs> if it's really loud here, I'm sorry. Tell me. I'm at work. I'm in the break room. Oh, that's okay. Oh, gosh. You're in the break room. You're at work. <laughs> I know. I have to leave Thanks in like 10 minutes. On. <laughs> um, and if you want, I, you, I think you can mute yourself if you want to, but I... You know what, Ashley, just go ahead. I, I'll play around with it. I know you've got other stuff you want to get to, okay. and that way Jenny can see some more. Okay. Um, so, well, it's under the, um, like, other links, helpful links, and it's Team Beachbody Coach Link Generator. And oh, then, yeah, okay, I know what that is. Yeah. So there's a link to just the All Access, because I looked access. at that a couple yeah. weeks ago, and I didn't see it, so it's yeah. on there now. Yeah, and I believe if you do the Coach Mobile app, you do Skip Challenge Pack Purchase, and then go to Membership, and then you should... If, unless it's not there. I've never done it's it not. yet. Okay. I just looked at I just looked at that yesterday and yeah. it's so, so I'm just doing really, um this coach link generator thing. Okay. And you enter your ID and then you can go to yeah. like membership levels on Perfect. there. Perfect. Because yeah. on the mobile enrollment when I checked yesterday, it only had the quarterly subscription still. Oh, okay. 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 So yeah, they must not have it updated yet. Um, so big shout out to all you guys that are just rocking it and hitting success club and getting success club points. And I put volume up there too, because I thought it was pretty exciting because there's some good volume on there and Kelly Dean with her new Emerald rank, how exciting. So, um, anybody that is listening that might not know what this means or Jenny, I know you're kind of, kind of getting there. Um, but success club is, um, you know, when you help somebody with a challenge pack with, um, you know, Shakeology, that gives you two success club points. The all access gives you three. Um, success club five um, is kind of Beachbody's little benchmark. You know, you hit, you hit five and then you're in success club. Anybody can be in success club. It doesn't mean like you have a giant successful business if you're in success club. It doesn't mean, um, you know, it just means that like you've hit kind of a benchmark and which is pretty exciting. And when you hit success club consecutively, um, you know, you get prizes and rewards and things like that. This month, I think there's a webinar with Dave Ramsey's daughter um, that is going to be talking. Last month, it was a webinar with the chick that wrote Eat, Pray, Love. Um, and they do like, you know, fun little success club prizes, like, you know, soggy bobblehead and like little things like that. So um, personal development books and t-shirts. And I think December, November was a quarter to force tank top. So they always throw out kind of fun little things out there. And then your volume is just, um, people that have ordered things from you and it just shows like your, your volume. So, um, success club five, success club 10. I know that for success club this month, they are doubling the trip dollars. So every month, every success club point that you get equates to $10. Um, success club trip. So this month they are doubling that. So if you have success club 10, you get $200 towards the success club trip, which is pretty sweet because if you can, you can register for that trip and get it paid for. It is amazing. So, um, <clears throat> so, uh, I just kind of wanted to, um, dive in and then run through these real quick, um, before I kind of get into the meat and potatoes and then we'll jump off. So just um, kind of coach basics 101, you know, starting this year out, um, you know, as a brand new coach, I know Jenny, you just did like your big post last night where you were like, I'm a coach. And yeah, it posted awesome. like five hours after I posted it too. It was weird. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh gosh. But it's out there for the world. It's out there. <laughs> yep. And sometimes you just kind of have to like close your eyes and like, okay, I'm doing this. And then yeah, there you go. Exactly. So um, and then once you do, it's not so bad. So tearing off the bandaid, um, and then just starting with the basics. So if you are, um, not into coach basics, if you're a new coach, or if you haven't done a coach basics in a while, or you haven't been in any kind of training in a while, definitely need to get back in a training because that just not only helps like learn more about the business, but it just helps keep your mind in the grind. So when you're not, you know, I, I feel totally disconnected if I'm not in some kind of training or doing some kind of training or, you know, I'm skipping the calls like the national wake up call or some of the other calls. I just feel like I'm like, what am I doing? Like I'm just floating around and I'm lost. Um, but starting with the basics, um, and just, you know, those of us that were at super Saturday, I think Danielle pretty much said, said it, you know, wake up, drink a shake, work out, read a book, talk to people in person and online and 
share that and then just repeat that. Um, and that is how I have grown a business, just continuing to do those same behaviors every single day, showing up every day. And um, there's a quote, I don't know exactly what it is, I didn't write it down, but um, be the person that's willing to do the things that other people aren't willing to do, and then have the rewards that other people don't have because you've put the work in and you've put the time and the effort in. Um, and sometimes, you know, we have late night calls like this and sometimes, you know, we're talking to people on Facebook, <laughs> you know, I'd much rather just be sitting mindlessly scrolling through Facebook, but I have people that need things and that's what my priority is. That's, you know, that's the part of being your own boss and being, you know, the CEO of your own business is that you have responsibilities and, um, and, and, just being able to be there for other people is such a huge part of this business, whether it's, you know, as a leader or as a coach or as a friend or anything like that, but just being able to be present and <coughs> showing those people that you are going to show up for them every day. <coughs> and, um, so Jenny, I know you'll appreciate this, but um, I'm t I wanted to tie in the nursing process because <laughs> um, just because it's something so in nursing school, we learn, you know, this basic like scientific method type process that how you're supposed to care for a patient. And the acronym is ADPI, and it's Assessment, Diagnosis, Planning, Implementation, Evaluation. And that's something that I feel like can be used so perfectly with this business because, um, well, because, um, you know, you start with your assessment and, you know, basically taking an inventory of your business. And I did a call not too long ago about inventory, um, but taking an inventory of your business and where am I? Where do I stand? What is my, you know, what is my goal for this week, this month, this year? Me personally, I have, you know, I'm, my goal is to hit Success Club 10 every month for the entire year. Um, my goal for this team is to get five coaches to diamond by the end of the year. Um, my goal is to be an elite team. Um, my goal is to take, you know, the, our diamonds to summit. And, um, and then my other goal is to do a team retreat this, this year for our team sometime this summer. Um, so I have some pretty huge goals and, um, and they're scary and I have some big income goals and those are kind of scary. Um, but I, you know, have done an assessment of my business over the last couple months and I've been like, okay, this is where I am and this is where I want to be. So what are some things that I need to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that I'm meeting those goals consistently? What are some things that I'm not doing or that I need to be doing more of and what are my expectations? You know, am I, can I be expected to earn $5,000 a month if I only can put in one hour a day? Probably not. Like I'm probably going to have to, you know, it's going to require a little bit more of my time the more that I want to grow this business. Um, so that first step. How many hours a week are you doing now or hours a day? I've been so scattered because of Christmas. I feel like I haven't had any like real regularity. And then now that my kids are back in school, it's like, okay, I have a little bit more condensed time that I've been doing. Um, but today was a mess. Like I just, I probably was on and off my computer and phone for three or four hours with no like real structured time. Um, besides like I got this done and that was a plus and, um, I sent out a couple messages. Um, but then I worked on some training stuff too, but I mean, there was, I didn't if have like, like consistently like four hours a day or five hours a day. You're just sporadic. No. no. And then like at night, like I'll probably, I'll, I might be on my computer for two hours at night and then I might be doing like an hour of solid work and then an hour of just like, you know, messing around or whatever. So. Okay. Um, just curious. Yeah. So for me, another goal is to get my time more structured and, and manage my time a little bit better. And I have a great video that I've been watching um, that I want to share with you guys um, about time management. But anyway, so assessment, kind of just taking, you know, taking an inventory of your business and seeing like where, where you are, where you stand, where you want to be. Um, <clears throat> diagnosis. So like, what's, what's the problem? So obviously if you're new, you know, and, or newer to coaching, um, you know, you're not, like, oh my gosh, you know, well, I've been trying to recruit coaches for three years and nothing's happening. You know, it's the newer 
Um, you know, the newer things that tend to come up are, you know, conversations inviting, um, you know, how do I find more people? How do I recruit anybody period? You know, where do I start? Like, where do I go? Um, and that's something that you kind of have to look at personally and and then you go back to your goals like am I hitting success club um, no I'm not what am I you know what am I doing to get there or what am I not doing um, and then you know kind of pinpointing exactly what it is that you struggle with and then working on those weaknesses and turning them into strengths so if um, you know conversations and inviting and stuff is something that you really struggle with um, and I'm kind of going into the next step here but really taking the time to learn more about that specific struggle and how you can make it better. I love you. Um, how to make it better and how to be stronger in those areas. Um, and that's something that I've just kind of learned along the way. And, and I hated inviting. I still hate doing invites and stuff like that. But I know that that's the activity that's going to help me grow my business. So I have to do it. And I can put out a ton of Facebook posts about, you know, join my challenge group. Here's my Wufu app. Um, but if I'm not getting any traction from those, then I have to do the inviting. And that's kind of something like last month in December, I was sitting at SC zero at, you know, 10 PM on the 29th of the month. And I had sent out, you know, a hundred invites and I'm like, <laughs> something's got to give and it literally paid off in the last two days of the month from me doing those consistent follow-ups and going back to those people that were like meh I'm not sure maybe you know and then just like really drilling them at the last minute and trying to get them into that January group so um I'm so sorry I have to go back to work no <laughs> you're fine I'm, I'm recording this I and I'll, can I listen to this too when yeah, it's done? Yeah, I'm recording it. I'll post the recording after I get it uploaded. All right. Have a good yeah. night, guys. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for jumping on, girl. Good yep. to see you. She's so fun. I'm so happy she finally started. I remember like her jumping in and out of challenge groups for how long? <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Jenny. We're so glad that you're doing this. I know. How exciting. It's really cool. Um. Yeah, I'm really excited for her. She's really excited too. All right, so planning is the next one. Um, so we've never done an official vision board type call or anything. Does anybody have a vision board? Have you guys talked about doing a vision board? Have you talked about anything like that, goals, goal-wise? Um, so I have a huge dry erase board, but I, we're, our house is on the market, so I keep it in my closet. And that's I feel like that's why... I've kind of slacked the last couple of months is because I don't have it literally in front of my face where I can see it every day because I've just been writing things down on post-its and typing them on my computer. Um, but having that vision board, creating your plan as cheesy as it sounds like who in high school did like a cheesy collage and like cut and paste it or even in grade school and like stuck things on a cardboard piece of cardboard. Like here's my high, you know, here's NSYNC and like whatever it was, but like did a cheesy collage. Like that's exactly what a vision board can be. And you can either, you know, just do a dry erase board and write your stuff on there, or you can make it, you know, glittery and sparkly and whatever your taste is. That's not my personal taste. Like I'm just good with a dry erase board and the like post-it note, but, um, but putting those things out there that you want and being able to visualize those goals, you know, like I want to make a thousand dollars a month as a beach body coach, hands down. Like that's my goal every single month. No if, ands, or buts. Like if that's your goal, then write that on your vision board, you know? And, um, and, you know, I want to hit success club five every month for a year. So then when I go to summit, I get two VIP tickets and I get to sit on the floor, you know, and that's, so that's what happens when you're, when you hit success club 12 months in a row, you're in a success club all, all star, then Beachbody gives you two free tickets. Well, two tickets, you're going to summit, um, to sit in the floor seats in VIP, which is pretty cool. Um, so, you know, things like that, that, that you have, goals for with this business. Maybe it's not an income or um, a goal like that. Maybe it's, you know, I want to be able to help, um, you know, a hundred people this year. Like that's my goal. I want to be able to help a hundred people or I want to be able to, um, you know, have my clients, you know, accumulate a weight loss goal of 500 pounds this year or something like that. You know, maybe it's something like that. Um, but just keeping those goals in sight 
And having a visualized plan is really what's going to help you get from A to B to, you know, January to December. Um, writing those down, same thing. Um, coach training, start at day one and don't stop. How many of you guys have gone into the back office and done any of the trainings in there beyond just the coach basics training? Like I can almost raise my hand, but still I can't because I haven't done that many of them. But I've been exploring them a lot more. And yes, you can do, like there are emerald to diamond groups. There are diamond to one star, two to five star trainings all in there that you can literally go in and just watch the videos and go through the trainings just as like me, you know, as someone who runs a coach basics group, I use those trainings and we copy and paste those right into the groups. So there's no saying that you can't go in and do those on your own. Granted, a structured group sometimes is a little bit better because you learn from other people and, um, and can art, you know, can work with other people, but, um, you know, those trainings are in there for a reason. And if I get stuck on something, then being able to go in the back office and, you know, look up something on inviting or look up, you know, something in a, in an emerald to diamond training that may be something I'm struggling with. Um, and, and be, just being able to access that, um, having a goal tracker or a business model. Have you guys seen a, um, there's like a diamond, um, where is it? It's like a diamond bubble. Um, like there's the emerald one that shows like, you know, you and then the other coach on your other leg. Um, but like something like this is ideal to print out. And I can put, I can upload this to the team page, but it shows you, you know, Here's how you get to diamond. You know, you have on your left leg, these are your coaches on your left leg and then your coaches on your right. And then you have to have an emerald on your left and an emerald on your right. So it shows you like the names and it's just, it, if you're a visual person and you like to write things down and like check things off and stuff, this is really great for that. And then as a diamond, you earn $18 every team cycle up to 2000 a week. So that's what's nice about continuing to rank advance is that Beachbody does cap their income at, you know, X amount. I think for Emerald, it's $1,000 a week. And anything beyond that, like, you just don't get it. Like, they just don't give you that money because they cap it if you're at a certain rank, which sucks. So that's like a big reason why, you know, if you're focused on recruiting a ton of people and really focusing on trying to grow an income, um, that, you know, that continuing to rank advances um, is kind of that benefit there. Now, what did I do with my other screen? Where did you guys go? Here you are. Okay. Um, and then pitch to your niche. Um, so when you're thinking about your post and your plan, you're planning as far as like what to post on social media, um, one thing that I've had to get out of my own head was, I'm not trying to recruit everybody on my friends list. Like there are people on my friends list that I probably don't want on my team because they are not like me and I wouldn't mesh well with them. Um, there are people on my friends list that probably wouldn't benefit from this lifestyle because they, do, I don't, I don't know for whatever reason. Um, which I don't know, that sounds kind of silly, right? But um, you know what I mean? Like there are people on our friends list that like there's the guy friends probably wouldn't make a good coach for me. Like I probably wouldn't be able to mesh well with like a dude on Facebook and like, hey man, we're gonna have talk about kids and stuff and, and moms and drink wine and like he probably wouldn't want to be on our team. Um, but there are certain people, think about who you want to be friends with and think about who you want to work this business with. And that's who you want to pitch to. Um, and then think about what their struggle is and put the solution out there and show them that solution. You know, as a busy mom with, you know, three kids and not having a ton of time to work out, that's kind of how I gear my posts. I kind of gear my posts to other moms that, you know, sometimes I talk about nursing, sometimes I talk about, um, 
you know, just chaos of life. And sometimes I talk about my business specifically and growing a business from home. So those are the kind of people that I want to attract, the kind of people that are looking for, you know, a fitness solution that have a busy life, that um, get it, you know, that that could really benefit. And that's how I gear my post to offering them that solution, the solution that's worked for me and showing them how it can be done. And then, um, you know, I have, you have the recipe, um, you know, that person that's looking through scrolling through all these posts on Facebook and they have 15 friends that are beach body coaches. Why are they going to sign up with you? What is it that you're offering to them that nobody else is? And just how are you appealing to people, you know, in your specific niche? And, um, you know, I've had, I've had people that um, I've talked to briefly about coaching and that I've seen them sign up with another coach. And I go and I look and I'm like, you know what, that's fine because her personality is like totally not mine, like mine at all, or her lifestyle, you know, as a... How about when they, how about when they sign up with you and they work with you for like one or two challenge groups and they're like, Oh, I'm doing so great. And then you check with them and they're like, Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, my best friend just signed up as a coach. So I had to go over to her and I'm like, but I really like your groups and I want to keep watching and doing what you're doing. And I was like, yeah, you can finish out this group, but then you need to go follow her. <laughs> oh man. I, that just happened to me. Oh, so, and I was like, I understand friend loyalty. Like you go do you, but you're not going to get to stay in my group and then go back and tell her everything I'm doing. Like, not that I'm doing much, but still I was like a little, I didn't even know. I didn't even know that she had switched. So Kelly, when you've ever been worried about like if somebody switches from like one of your friends to you or something, I've had like six people switch to me. You don't know. Like I had no idea. Good. Yeah. <laughs> no. Sorry. Just side note. <laughs> I swear I didn't steal anybody. Like, no, it's no, best it's friend though. It's like one of Mark's These like, are like I, random people who are like, yeah, I just had a beach buddy coach that was like on the internet, you know, no, just like, no, people. I had like, it was like somebody that Mark knows like from high school or something. And she mm -hmm. like sent me a message a couple months ago and she joined Melinda Morgan is her name. And so I just reached out to her because I added her to group because she wanted to be in, but she's not been posting. So I was like, Hey, how are things going? I haven't seen anything from you. She's like, Oh, I'm really sorry. I had to switch to my friend. She just signed up as a coach. That's weird. Oh. Yeah. She's like, but I love your groups and I hope that you're okay that I'm still in there because I find you guys all really motivating and inspiring. And I'm like, yeah, okay. You get us for the rest of the month and then you're done. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Side note. Go ahead. Up. She switched, but was going to stay in your group. Yeah. She never that's even told me she, she switched. That's not cool. Yeah, that's kind of tacky. Yeah. Oh, man. Um, I don't know. That's the probably because the other girl's not running her own group. <sighs> Oh. And then in like a month, she's going to be like, my friend quit. Can I switch back to you? <laughs> I'll still be here. So be here in a year. I have a question. Mm -hmm. So I had somebody who just bought the all access pass. They didn't do the challenge pack, but they bought the all access pass and they bought it from Beachbody. And then they, so they were assigned a random coach, like randomly assigned a coach and they switched underneath me. Well, I get their, no. Um, how long ago did they order it? Like three days ago. They would, I would tell them to email, um, I, or contact me. They could even call and they have to tell them to switch the volume and the commission over to you. And did I they do it through beachbody.com or teambeachbody.com? The... Cause I had a cousin who did the same thing because apparently beachbody.com will let you do payment plans. Mm -hmm. And so he bought through that, but then he called and had them switch him to like as a customer under me. And I guess once he like finished paying it off or something, I don't know. It, I don't know. It was weird. She like bought it on Tuesday and then told me Tuesday night, Wednesday, she requested the coach switch and it showed active on Wednesday night that I was her coach. Mm -hmm. Oh, Wow. I mean, like, it was, like, super quick. What's her name? Like, Teresa Frederick, the girl that I posted in group today. Because I have some there, – there's some coaches showing up in my downline from you guys. So she might be showing up. I can't look on my computer since I'm on the call with you guys. But I'll look on my back office. But, yeah, do you know if Kayla switched yet, Cindy? To you? No, 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 no. 
Did she sign up with the challenge pack as a coach under you? I sent her the Have link. Have you talked to her? Mm -hmm. I sent her the link. I followed up with her. She's like, great. I'm going to order it on Monday. I'll follow up with her too. I mean, she's still going to go underneath you, but, um, she's one of those people that's like me. She like is, she's like all gun ho. And then she sees wine and then she's like, ah, that can wait. And then she's like, okay, I'm ready now. And then she sees wine, but I think that she'll be fine. Like I, she'll do it. She's going to do it. I don't, she sounded like she was interested in going to new Orleans with us. I think, I think she, I think she likes me. Like Who does it? Crush. <laughs> oh, she likes you like that? She wants my J. <laughs> oh my God. We're recording this. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. I've heard more about your J in the last seven days than I have like my whole life. <laughs> Ashley, all of our calls are inappropriate. Just get used to it. Okay. I'm, I'm good. And it, it, she's not hearing about my J because of an infection. I am clean. Oh my God. Carry on with your slideshow. Thank you for clearing that up Jesus. for us, literally. I think that she just doesn't want to pull the trigger. I don't know. She will. Kayla it has, she's. Is she's this good. Kayla that was at Super Saturday with us? Oh. Yeah, she was. She, was, she, was she my bought a challenge dad. pack from me last January, and she's followed us ever since then. Mm. But she, she has tried to do her own little side group mm -hmm. on she Facebook. Did. Yeah, but she's not a coach. So I brought her as a guest of mine, but she's really underneath Cindy. So I'm going to get her as a coach, though. Kayla, I, if you're watching, you're mine. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Oh, <laughs> gosh, you guys. <laughs> okay. We got I. What's up with I? Um, oh, and I just put down here weekly calls in with upline. So just you know, planning, planning to get on the calls and planning to just show up and all of that. I um, am trying to reach out to my girls every week <clears throat> for a call and or like a Vox or some kind of chit chat just as like a, where are you this month? How are you doing? What do you need help with? Um, so, and I mean, same with challengers, trying to check in and just how are you with your goals? How are you doing with your workouts? How are you, know, just so that way you're in the know. So that way you can kind of get a feel for them um, <clears throat> and be able to help them with what they're struggling with, whether they're, an, you know, a coach or a challenger or um, whoever. <clears throat> and then I, implementation how does, you know, how am I going to make this work? So how am I going, you know, I'm, my goal is five star diamond this year. So how do I need to get there? What are some things that I need to implement? What are some plans I need to put in place? Okay. So I need to do monthly trainings for my team to continue to help them build their businesses and rank advance. Um, what are some things that I need to do personally? I need to, you know, stay on my personal development. I just got a new book at the library today. The New Leader's 100-Day Action Plan, and I started reading it while my kids were at story, in story time, and I was like beating myself over the head with it because I was like, this is what I should have read last year. Like, it's one of those books that just immediately clicked with my brain, and I've read leadership books before, and I've been like, eh, and this one, I don't know, maybe it's because they are trying to make it really interesting at the beginning, maybe it's going to fall off, but I don't know. For me, right away, I like, just that PD is so so very important because I think there's so much that I have learned along the way, not just leadership wise, but like, you know, how to have normal conversations with people about fitness and stuff, you know, and like just things that have helped me um, be a better person to my challengers and stuff like that too. Um, and then just asking for feedback from your team, you know, is there something that I'm doing that, um, you know, that you need more of or something I'm not doing, you know, is there something that, that I can help you with personally, or is there something that you need more from me of, or that you need more from in general? And, um, you know, what do you, you know, what are your thoughts? Like you guys, perfect, perfect time. Um, is there anything that you guys want more of? Like anything that you guys are struggling with, anything that you guys need help with that we can implement more into trainings and calls and things like that. Um, so I mean, I'm asking, anybody have anything or? <laughs> I need help with my blog. <laughs> okay. No, but I've, I've actually been starting to look at like Melanie's blog. I find that my biggest, my biggest weakness in the year that I've been doing this is 
I am taking in all kinds of information and personal development and watching videos, but I'm not putting any of it into action. Mm -hmm. Like stop learning and start doing is basically like my biggest thing. It's like, I know what I need to do, but I'm not doing it because mm -hmm. it terrifies me. So, yeah, I think it, I, I agree. Cindy, did you have something? I feel like I have a really hard time inviting like, or I get on an invitation wagon and it's like a three week conversation that goes nowhere. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I just, people, you guys talk about it so loosely, like you, because you're comfortable doing it and you say it like, I talked to this person and then this and this, and then I was done. And I'm like, can you share me an example? Because I don't know what the hell you can <laughs> like. It's not that easy. Or something, you know, and I'm like, I can't do this like smooth transition into, I, I don't know. I just, I have a heart or even like talking to these girls for doing this challenge group at the church. I'm like a lot of them don't have a program that they're using. And so I'm like, that's great. We can do this all access pass and blah, blah, blah. But then I like word vomit and then it's like over. <laughs> How do I fix that? <laughs> Well, I've, lis yeah. I've listened to a lot of things about that and like what overall it's like the, the biggest concept and it's just going to take you digging in and listening to different YouTube calls and different trainings and stuff. But bottom line, it's like you have to figure out what works for you. And like I've taken little bits from everything, but bottom line, it's like ask as many questions as you can listen as much as you can without giving any information relate to them. So like ask them questions when they come back with something, be like, Oh girl, I was totally there. Don't share what, I mean, you can share a little bit of it, but don't share too much and then ask more. And like, because then when you are ready to present whatever it is that you're going to present, you can add so much more value to them because you know everything that they're struggling with. Like if they're struggling with nutrition or they eat too much, you can relate to their things. And then what I've learned from the GoPro, the seven steps um, to social network marketing or whatever um, by Eric Worre, which I just finished, um, he was like, put a time frame on it. So I just, I've been doing this in the last week or so. So whenever I send information, I then say, so, is, so I'm going to reach out to you in like a day or so. Is that cool? And they'll be like, yeah, that's cool. So then I don't feel like I'm being that weird person. That's like, Oh gosh, has it been too long? Is it too long? Can I message them? And then you're bothering them. Like if you set a time frame to like meet back up with them about it, then it's not so awkward to meet back up with them about it. And I've done that twice. And both people were like, absolutely. Or yeah, that's cool. So now I have like an open door to come back and say, what did you think of the information? So it's like, learning like this has been like a year of me learning all this stuff but now it's time for me to implement it and so it doesn't come easy i still don't like to cold invite i just told ashley what was it yesterday or the day before i was like i just sent out like five random friend requests and sent out some generic messages and that's the first time i've done it in like a year mm -hmm. i've i literally have done my business over the past year by people coming to me not by me going to that. So just think if I would have been doing what Ashley was doing and actually like putting and myself out there. I don't even do that every month. Like, honestly, I've done a lot of my stuff has come from people coming to me. And, mm -hmm. um, and last month, I mean, I had to work hard for it last month. I sent over a hundred invites last month. I was sending invites on Instagram and like trying to find people. And, um, because I couldn't, like, I was, I was seriously struggling. I couldn't get anybody. I was talking to people all month long. And I mean, December's hard. November, December's hard because people don't want to financially commit to anything because of Christmas. But um, I was, you know, and of course, comparison is um, the thief of joy. But I'm looking at other coaches that are at like SC15, SC18. And I'm like, how are these people on December 12th at SC18? Like I, everybody's like crickets over here. But um, I had to, I, that's something that like, it just, it killed me, but it made me better because I had to earn it. I had to push through it. I had to go out there in the trenches and dig for it and find the people that were you willing had to get really uncomfortable. I was so you had to get really uncomfortable. And I was like, and it was my 12th month to hit success club in a row. And if I didn't do it, like sayonara lady, like I was like, and I swore on December 31st, 2015, when I was 
almost at success. When I hit success club six that night at like 10 PM, I was like, this is not going to happen again on new year's Eve. Like there is no freaking way. And you know what? Like I was pretty much in the same position that I was a year ago, but it came through and I, and I had faith and I knew that it would because I, I have faith in this business and it always comes through. And I know that if I have given it my all, that phrase, I can't give one fingernail more. If I've given it my all and I know that, you know, I went through a hundred invites. Could have I done a hundred more? I probably could have. And if I would have, I might've been at SC20, but who knows? I know that I did what I needed to do and I did what I could. And I didn't feel like I could give, you know, one more ounce on New Year's Eve. And when I hit success club that morning, I could relax and I could drink wine and I could like not stress about it. And that's exactly what I wanted for New Year's. So but Cindy, it doesn't get easier. I mean, even Deidre talks about it and Melanie Meacher talks about it. Like it, the inviting never gets easier. I guess what I'm asking is like, when you say you sent out a hundred invites, what are you sending out a hundred of? Cause if I sent out a hundred of what I consider an invitation, there's no way I would spend more hours in my day doing this than I do at my job. And that's not feasible. I did a lot of copy and pasting for cold invite type stuff. Like I was careful send- when you do that. Cause I totally copy and pasted with a different girl's name on to something the other day. And I was like, <laughs> and there's no deleting and personal messages. Sometimes just, Hey girl, like, Hey girl, <laughs> and then copy and paste that. But I don't like to copy and paste all the time because I don't feel like it's very personal. But if it's somebody that I haven't talked to in a while or that I've previously talked to about, you know, whatever, then I'm comfortable with saying, hey, you know, I know we chatted a little bit in the past. I just wanted to reach out to you. I have a group starting next month. I know you had some interest before. Um, I'd love to save you a spot. Is this a good time for you? Or when can we chat? Or what is, you know, what's your fitness been like? You know, some kind of a question that will get most, uh, most likely get a response from them. Um, so I send out a lot of those. And then did you want, Kelly, did you have something? I just wanted to clarify. So like the hundred people that you sent invites to, those were like follow-ups or were they cold invites? All of the above. Any, any kind of conversation I had with somebody, that's what I count as an invite. So I might not have said, you know, to 100 people, I have a challenge group starting on January 2nd. Would you like to join? But it was a conversation I started and I got to a point with them with fitness and nutrition where I felt comfortable sharing a little bit about, or I would send, or it was a cold invite that I just sent out that message and then I didn't get a response and I still counted it. And I, I count my, like when people reach out to me, like I count my WooFoo applications as in my 100. Um, and I count, you know, like if somebody messages me about something, you know, question about, you know, Shakeology or something like that, um, I count those as my invites. Um, but just, I mean, just typically starting conversations and just getting that conversation to a point where I can talk to them about fitness. And typically I, I you know, I use the form process um, where you start uh, like family, occupation, recreation, um, what's M? Oh my gosh. I just drew a blank. Um, I just thought I just drew a blank. Um, but it's in the, it's the beach body, um, like the beach body way, um, that they recommend talking to people that you first start talking to them about your family, you know, Hey Kelly, how have you been? Um, I love seeing pictures of your family. Um, you know, you look like you guys are really super happy. How old are your boys? And then, you know, just let the conversation grow. So what do you do these days? Occupation and then recreation. What do you like to do for fun? And then message. It's Emma's message. And then, um, and then, oh, well, you know, I actually have been working from home as a coach and I do these groups and I've seen a lot of my gals get really amazing results and I just love it. And it's been such an awesome adventure. Is that something that, um, is that something that would interest you? And then that's kind of just an invite. And if I don't get a response, then I'll go back in a couple days and say, hey, you know, I was just giving you a chance to think, or I know that you saw my message. Sometimes that works. Hey, I saw that you saw my message. Did you have a question or was there yeah. something I said? And sometimes you can ask that, like, was there something I said that offended you? Because I'd love some feedback 
as this is my job and I'd love to know how to do it better, you know? And sometimes people will like legitimately be like, oh, actually, no, um, I just, um, I'm not interested, you know? Or they'll be like, no, actually, like, you know, my, or my dog got sick and was in the hospital and I couldn't talk, you know? I mean, who knows what the, what the reason is. But a lot of times when you put people on the spot like that, they're kind of like, oh, well, actually, yeah, I really could benefit from this, but I'm, you know, how much is it going to cost me? Or, you know, something like that. They have, they kind of have a reason, but just continuing to repeat those things. And like you said, Cindy, like sometimes you, like you feel like it might take like three weeks to get through that conversation. But I've, I've been able to, I don't know, I guess try to just get to the point with somebody where I can like, I can either tell that they're like not interested at all or like, it's going to take me a little bit more to where I might just have to put it all out there and be like, Hey, listen, like I'm doing this group. Are you in or are you out? You know? Um, or if I know that they're, if they come back and they're like, Oh, well I do, you know, advocate. Then I'm like, Oh, awesome. I'm so glad that you found something that works for you. And then like, boom, done next. And I never yeah. cut them off. Um, because I've had AdvoCare people sign up with me before. Um, but if it's somebody that's using something else, I don't cross them off. I just, you know, tell them congratulations or whatever, and then I move on. Or if it's somebody that I'm getting crickets from, I just move on. And then I'll go back to them maybe at the end of the month or, um, you know, just another time. Um, but just trying to, to go. Oh, you have to go. Yeah, Mark's texting me. Okay. Apparently, Mason's been crying for like the last twenty minutes, mommy. And oh Mark says he's impossible and ridiculous. So apparently, oh. love and logic hasn't hasn't worked quite yet. So. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, um, it's time. Really quick, I just I wanted to say I I mean I've been trying to find a video for Kelly because she had um, reached out about not getting a lot of support from some loved ones. And so I've been really trying to find stuff because I know I've heard some pretty successful coaches talk about um, family members not supporting them. And I haven't really gotten the video, the right video that I want to share with you, but I wanted to let you know that most of the time when people don't support or give you the information, it's because they just aren't um, knowledgeable about it enough. Like maybe they just don't understand exactly what it is that Beachbody is or what you're doing. So I just wanted to put that out there because you have to believe in your heart. What you're doing is amazing. And what you've experienced over the last year and a half is amazing. And people will eventually jump on. I mean, look at my sister and she never, for the first six months to a year, she was not interested. And now she's like, Michaela's my life coach. <laughs> like my sister. So funny, coach. I always think about her. Like whenever I'm struggling with my own family, I'm always like, Oh, I wish my sister was more like Michaela's sister. Cause she's so supportive. And what and what's crazy is like your sisters think that they're so perfect and that you're the crazy one and you need the personal development. But let's all be honest they're really probably the ones that need it more than what you do. So just hang in there, continue to do what you do because what you're doing is amazing. So I, I just wanted to put that in there before we got off because I wanted to talk about that tonight, but um, finish recording because I want to, I want to hear what the E was and obviously if you guys have any questions, but I have to go my I love you guys. Bye. See ya. Should we move on or did we, are we, I feel like next week, can we just talk about inviting? Yes. <laughs> All next week. Yes. And can we have example? No, I'm just yes. kidding. Kind of. I'm not really kind of kidding. I think I have some, um, in the file section, I put like an invite. There's a ton of, um, I just, I had a really good month one month and I just copy and pasted a bunch of those conversations and put them in like a Google doc. And I think I put that in the file section. So if you want to just dive in there and scroll through, um, but like as far as word vomiting goes, I have a girl that um, is about to sign up as a coach that literally we have each sent about 25 paragraphs to and from each other every time we message. Like she writes me a, a book and then I write her a book back and she writes and that's how she signed up with an all access pass because she was like, tell me everything. So I literally told her 
everything where that's like nothing I would ever send to anybody else, but it just so happened to work for her because she wanted the details. And like, I was very detailed and same thing with coaching. Like I have a, um, like a little PowerPoint presentation, like a coach opportunity thing that I recorded and it's like 30 minutes long. And I sent it to her and I was like, this is really long. And she's like, I don't care. Like t the more info the so, I mean, as far as that goes, I don't think there's a re like a wrong way to do it. I mean, I think, you know, if you're having just a flowy conversation with somebody and you just happen to share a little bit more than not, then that's okay too. I don't try to out of the gate say a lot. Initially, I try to just get, feel them out. Um, I'll share this real quick. I am in a mom's group and a mom tonight had posted, Hey, beach body coaches, like what workouts don't use equipment. And four moms right away were like, Oh my gosh, you should do 21 day fix. 21 day fix is great. You only need a couple weights. You can wrist resistance band like four moms. And I was not one to step on anybody's toes, but I commented fifth. And I was like, I'm actually doing core to force right now. And it doesn't require any equipment. Like I don't use, it's just your own body weight. What specifically are you looking for for fitness though? Not one person had asked. Everybody was like trying to shove 21 day fix. And she's like, actually, that sounds awesome. I used to kickbox. I'd be really interested to hear more about the program. I'm six weeks postpartum. I'd like to lose 10 pounds. And she like spilled her guts. And I messaged her a link tonight. And I mean, I don't know if anybody else is like, screw that Ashley Roberts chick coming in here and trying to, you know, but nobody had asked her what her, like, what did she want to work out for? Like, what was her, you know, desire to change? What was her goal? You know, because 21 day fix might not be something that she liked at all. And here she's like buying a program and she hates it, you know? So, um, so that's usually where I start my invites is just trying to get a feel for what specifically their need is. Um, and just trying to just trying to ask questions, I guess. Just trying, you know, are you doing anything for fitness right now? That's probably my number one question. What are you doing for workouts right now? Or what do you, how's your nutrition? And then I just let them tell me. And most people like love to share stuff like that. Um, and then I just kind of go from there and I kind of just say, well, um, you know, how much time do you have in a day to work out? How much, um, you know, what kind of stuff has worked for you in the past? What hasn't worked for you in the past? Um, you know, what do you like to do for workouts? And, um, you know, are you a morning person? Are you not? And do you have any injuries? And what are your nutritional habits like? Do you have any specific food triggers, food allergies, you know, kind of just dive in and, and dissect them. And then you can, like, I think Danielle said it, you can like prescribe the perfect program and or, you know, regimen for them. So does that make sense? Does that help? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to move on. So then we can jump off. And E was just evaluation. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm taking some notes here. So definitely inviting next week and I'll, um, I'll get with Michaela and see if she has some good invites that we can just pull and put in a document together. So that way you guys, um, can use those too, um, like some scripts and stuff like that. Um, but evaluation was just, you know, just to evaluate, how is it working? Am I like, Am I seeing results from what I'm doing? Am I not? Back to the drawing board. Um, and then, you know, if so, like if, you know, are the posts that I'm doing getting traction? Are they not, you know? And that's one thing, like, I, I still post things and I'll get like six likes and I'm like, really? Like, that was it? Okay, obviously, like, people don't want to see that, so I won't post that anymore. Um, and then just trying to, like, weed out what works and what doesn't. And, um, you know, if you post a challenge group invite post and, um, you know, you get a bunch of likes on it or you don't, then maybe, you know, the wording needs to be switched up a little bit or maybe, um, you know, just the, like the image or something like that. So a, a lot of it is trial and error. And I think with Facebook and social media ever changing, um, we're just continually, fi continually finding other ways to like put ourselves out there that are appealing. And I think for me, some of the most effective things that have worked are just like sharing that 
semi-personal, like, why kind of stuff, you know, like why I'm doing this, sharing that emotion. Um, and then just being able to connect people to that emotion. Um, this morning I posted about how I like talked myself out of getting out of bed for my workout. And instead I just mindlessly scrolled through Facebook and I was surprised. And I just posted like a, like a picture of a quote or something. And it got a little bit more likes than I had thought it was going to get. Um, so, but I talked about that, you know, cause how many people have gotten up and they've been like, I'm not going to work out. I'm, I know I should, I'm not going to, I know I should like, and so maybe that was something that was relatable to people. I don't know, but just trying to spice it up and, and put your, put it out there so that people are able to connect, um, with that, with that emotion that you have for this business. So that was it. Did you guys have any questions? I have a question, but not about any of this. It's like unrelated. Okay. So, um, I think my mom might start drinking Shakeology. Mm -hmm. So I've been trying to figure out like my best bet as far as like getting it for her. Mm -hmm. Um, do I just, should I just like get it for every month or you know what I'm saying? Like, what's my best bet here? Like, cause I don't want to sign her up as a coach and then have her have to pay that $15 fee every month. Like she doesn't want a fitness program or anything. Um, I don't know, Ashley, you're just so good at like finagling things and like figuring out the best route to go. You know? So I did when I had, I had my mom sign up with a challenge pack and then I bought the program back from her and then I still got the successful points and, um, and I signed her up as a discount coach because I wanted to get to Emerald and she was like one of my people from right on. And she was like, I want to use Shakeology. Like, how can I, you know, tell me what to do. And so I was going to do, I was just going to buy a bag and then just like give it to her. And then, um, I was like, well, wait, like if I can get an extra program and like, she can just, you know, pay me for the Shakeology or whatever. And I like, or I'll pay her for the program and she'll keep the Shakeology. Um, mm -hmm. that's, that's just what I did that way. Um, and then she ended up like using and like, she's uses 21 day fix occasionally. Um, and my little brother uses the containers now, which is funny, but that's like something they've ended up keeping. And then she just gets her Shakeology every month as a discount coach. And she, that's something I talked to her about. Like I was like, you know, it just, it's going to come to your house. You can suspend it, whatever. And the $15 fee, like, that's just something that she, like, I just told her, mom, I pay it. So like, you're just going to pay it. <laughs> and, and, okay. and then it saves, you know, it saves you $30. So, um, so I would just, I mean, I would just tell her that. And I uh, don't order under you, like to try to save her $15 or whatever. No, I don't. I mean, I, I feel like the 25% discount saves you $30. So I feel like the fee is like, it pays for itself, you know, mm -hmm. like instead of paying a hundred and what is it like 140 something with tax and shipping just mm -hmm. to order a bag, then they get it for like one Oh six or something like that. Isn't it? Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. So I just kind of, I break it down that way with price. So that way she can see like, this is what it would look like to just order it like a bag versus like when you get it as a discount. So yeah, she's just been really, really reluctant. It's not like she wants to try it. She's just trying it because I'm basically like forcing her to, um, but she's got all kinds of like, not all kinds of health issues, but she has like osteoporosis and, um, high blood pressure and arthritis. And I keep saying like, this could possibly help with that. You know, it's more than just a protein shake, but like she just never fails to like tell me all the time how great her protein powder from GNC is. And I just am like, are you freaking serious right now? So finally this month she was like, okay, I'll try Shakeology. So I got her a bag, but I don't know if she's going to even continue with it, but she's just, she's complained about the price. So I don't know. There is a podcast, um, Shakeology podcast. Have you listened to any of the Shakeology podcasts at all? 
Um, no, but I saw that on your, um, like on your challenge group thing. Yeah. Where you had that bonus post or whatever, the water day, it was like bonus yeah. post technology and you had a link to it. Mm -hmm. I would, um, I would send her that and there's, well, there's like 13 Shakeology podcasts. So if you go to iTunes, just type in like Shakeology podcast and, um, there are, I think there's 13 of them. And like the first one is like, why Shakeology? And then there's another one that's like, why Shakeology is better than just a protein shake or why Shakeology is better than like generic shit that's on the market or whatever. And, yeah. um, and I've listened to those and I'm like, oh, dang, like if more people listen to these podcasts, then we wouldn't have any objections. People would be like, oh, well, duh, like this is stupid that I'm not drinking it. So um, yeah. and that's something that, I tr that I'm trying to implement into my challenge groups. I just posted a video today in my group. Um, I can sh I'll share it in the team page, but it was um, like from on – Shakeology has a YouTube channel and they have like minute and a half videos from like random doctors around the country talking about how they use Shakeology and why they use Shakeology and how it helps with obesity and high blood pressure and cholesterol and things like that. Um, so on Thursdays in my challenge group, I'm doing Thirsty Thursday. Like I'm talking, I'm just doing a regular post and then I'm also doing a post with one of those videos or something about the importance of Shakeology. And um, because I think you know, customer retention is so important to continue to see growth in this business and, um, and keeping those people like engaged with Shakeology and the importance of it is so important, like not to be redundant, but I feel like that's like the average person uses Shakeology for three months and then quits. And a lot of times because they're not educated enough about it to like know, you know, the benefits of the ingredients and why it's important. And, and then they're just not willing to like budget it into their monthly expenses. So um, I think the more that we can implement things like that into our challenge groups to talk about Shakeology specifically and, um, and then just asking people, you know, how, instead of, how are your workouts going? How are your workouts in your Shakeology going? You know, and asking them like, what's your favorite recipe? And have you tried any new recipes lately? Or, um, you know, little things like that, that keep them engaged with Shakeology. So that way they see the value in it and know like, and whenever I do my like little check-in posts, I, it might be cheesy, but I don't care. But I'm like, oh my gosh, like best part of my day, you know, like I feel so great, like totally helped me from snacking at the grocery store or, you know, just little things like that. Like totally had the munchies this afternoon and Shakeology totally helped me get rid of that. So um, just kind of sharing with people like your personal experiences with it and why, um, why it's so good. I don't know. That's it's late. Do you guys want to jump off? I don't want to keep you guys too long. We can get off. Sorry, I'm answering messages. <laughs> no, no, no. Cindy, you got like a whole ton of people, I'm sure. So I don't even know if they're going to go anywhere. This is my problem. I have lots of people who just want to talk. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. Yeah, I know. I feel um, like I've had you that. have to go for no um, sheet post it. Is it pinned? Or is it in the documents section? I think it's in the documents. Um, okay. I think it is. I'll, I think you upload. just posted it again the other, the other day, didn't you? I think I did. I uploaded a new one. Um, it was recently. Was it under photos? Or maybe it's files. Yeah. So I did a newer one. Um, that's a little bit bigger. So there's a little bit more space. Okay. So I just print, printed this off not too long ago. Um, but yeah, that's what I've, that's what I've been using. And then did you guys see this power hour sheet that I uploaded? Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is a good one too, just to, um, you know, whether it's just for a day or a week or whatever you want to use it. but. Um, Sometimes it's good to have that little traction stuff on there. And then, yeah, I think that's, yep. So I'll post this recording in the team calls. Um, but yeah, we can jump off. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Have a good night, girls. Talk to you later.
Bye. Bye.